Welcome to Retired Fangirls podcast episode 18, I believe. Oh, I and believe. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been, I think, a year since we started. Not so you know, we have full-time jobs. We have lives. We're just doing this for fun, so don't come for us. <laughs> and we're fairly consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So... We're patting ourselves on the back. <laughs> no one's like coming for us at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Our last video was me reviewing the first two episodes. Actually, I didn't really review it because I did. I saw it early and I didn't want to spoil. So we really haven't done a deep dive at all. I've been so bad about watching the episodes as well. So I'm now fully caught up though. So we can discuss now. <laughs> well, let's start with the elephant in the room. How do you feel about the changes? At first, I liked it, and I thought it, like, made a lot of sense. I was like, okay, pacing, it's fine. But now I'm kind of like, okay, we're kind of zipping, we're kind of zooming, mm-hmm. at least. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I like a lot of what they did, especially with, like, Medusa, and then changing the Havesta stuff was apparently a budget thing. Um, And I think a lot of the changes, like, add to the themes of the show, so I'm not as angry yeah as as some people are but I'm also not a book purist so I'm not yeah I never expected it to be on page two screen exactly and like everyone when I like first watch everyone's like well is it like exactly the perfect adaptation of the book and I'm like no don't expect it to be either like sorry people but I do think it's faithful like I think it stays true to the heart I think so too like mm-hmm. the story's still going in the same way like and all the events are still happening they're just doing it like a little faster <laughs> yeah and there's like a lot of gods involved which I'm like interesting a lot more than the book I think like Her- Hermes being at like the Lotus Casino Hermes or like Hephaestus being like you mm-hmm. know in the thing I'm like okay they're here I'm ready to own up Lynn ate. Lynn was so good as <laughs> No, I liked him. Oh, he slayed. I have no complaints about the cast or anything like that. So y'all can be Lynn haters, but I love him. Do you know the bookstore in New York that sells like the play, the plays and the scripts and stuff? It's yeah. in, it's like kind of near Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll look it up. Okay. Well, my friend, went, I went there like when I was there in August and then my friend went there and she ran into Lindman Mulver Miranda there and apparently he like funds it or something so he's like probably a regular there so go say hi I'm glad he's doing good things with his money and not just like being rich yeah that's true mm-hmm. but yeah the show I I like it I, I think it's fun I think yeah, it accomplishes the job it needs to do I don't think it's the greatest piece of like media ever created but I also don't think the book is oh I love like being book. like 25 years old at the <laughs> yeah like the book is wonderful but also rereading them now is some yeah. of them are really problematic <laughs> you know so I'm eager to see how he changes some of the more problematic things if we continue getting seasons but I don't know if people have been such haters what if Disney cancels it so that's why you gotta shut your damn I'll mouth I'll be so mad because it's like all this for what for what? It's not a bad show. Like it's fun. People just have really big expectations. It's the same way with like Harry Potter or like Hunger Games. You're gonna love it later. Yeah, You're grateful like, for it later. You just let them cook. Let him get in the kitchen. Let him get in the writers' room. Greenlight all five seasons so they can do it all right now. It seems like they're like like when they started to mention like Pan and. Kronos and all the god stuff I'm like it seems like it's going somewhere setting it up yeah and so, wouldn't it be horrible if there's no payoff Disney so let us know it's still good I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying I something to watch yeah I still have a great time yeah I'm having fun I'm seated I'm seated every single day every single time I wish I was there put me in the background you have potentially four more seasons to make get me there I don't need to meet I don't even care about meeting any of the cast I just no, want to I don't care about y'all <laughs> they're children I don't need to meet children but, you know, if they if they want to be interviewed 
Hey, if you guys want to be on the podcast, like, just let us know. We're big fans. Big, big fans. It's just that they're kids. Like, I don't need to yeah. hang out with kids. I don't need kids to be my friend. They can be friends with each other, and I love that. I'll follow they're them so, on Instagram. They're so cute. They're growing up so fast. No, he's so tall. You know, and you can, like, I saw a TikToker was, like, you can tell they filmed it, like, out of order because he looks so young in one scene and, like, so much older in the other scene. Yeah. But that's just kids, I guess. That's showbiz babes. Do you wish it would have been animated? Um, no. I would like it. I feel like an animated adaptation would be cool. I've seen some cool fan art, of course, but I don't think it's, like, necessary. Mm-hmm. I think I preferred the live action. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I don't know. They're perfect to me. They're so cute, the cast. So I'm happy I... with it. And like I think like the effects look good and everything. So I'm not complaining about anything. No. I think maybe just like the pacing of it all, but that's just because I'm used to like the book and like all these chapters happening. I also think it's hard to do as faithful as an adaptation as he's trying with not even eight hours of <laughs> yeah it's different too because like hunger games and like harry potter and all those book adaptations were all movies so you mm-hmm. expect like more but like well also he's trying to actually do the world building that he did in the book like the harry potter movies just sort of they just drop you in they're like here you go and they don't give you a lot of the backstory they caught a lot of the exposition and the dialogue from the book because they're like it doesn't translate and that's fair yeah, that's and we did this in hunger games and that one i think is a better thing to compare it to because hunger games is first person and yeah. canon narration is really important so figuring that out how true. to add that is more like percy true how do you feel about them adding that percy has known about like greek mythology from his mom i think that's cute i think if Sally knew that it was Poseidon, there's no way she wouldn't teach Greek mythology to her kid. Yeah. I kind of liked how in the book he was just like a clueless boy. <laughs> and then he just like learned along the way. But I feel like they just like added that. So it would be like, because like the whole crusty scene, because I just watched this I episode. I think they added a little too much. Like, I think why, so too. Who the fuck is crusty? Why do any of us know who that is? And oh, also, literally. I'm mourning DOA records. Like, I feel like that just makes more sense that the... The music industry is the portal to hell, yeah. not some random guy with the mattress, you know? Like, yeah. Cut Krusty and kept DOA. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, because I just watched that episode and he's like, you're Procrustus or whatever his name is. I'm like, why does he know? Why does he know already? They're supposed to get like scammed. They're supposed to be the like, kids. Well, and he's supposed to be ruthless and like behead him. Yeah. PG-13, or actually just PG because we're it's Disney. Well, it's they very Disney off? side. Yeah. It's very Disney. I think that's the problem. That's like why. Yeah. But, I mean, st- that change, I was like, we didn't need Krusty. We could have just gone to the record. Yeah, that would have been fire. Like in the musical and they sing DOA. I'm like, mm. we needed that. We did. I that? love what they're doing with Grover, though. I love Precious Boy. Oh, always overlooked to me, but now. Well, Richard said that he didn't know what to do with him until the third book, and that makes sense to me because he's not as much of a character in the first two. Yeah, but here he is, shining, and I love him. He's such a star. I'm a big fan. Love you, Grover. <laughs> You've seen the musical, right? I saw the musical on opening night. Whoa! In New York. Yeah, it was crazy. They gave us all copies of Trials of Apollo, the first book, because it had just come oh. out. Um, when was that? What year was that? 2017. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were in New York. We were going to go for my senior spring break, for my senior year of high school. Um, and that was the one thing. I was like, Dad, I need to go see this musical. Um, and he was trying to book tickets. And they're like, we don't know if we have any tickets yet. Like, we're waiting. We didn't know that we were going on opening night. We just picked the night yeah. that was with our trip. Um, and then we got there and there were people with flowers talking about like an after party and dead, and we were oh. like, Hey, count me in. Where are we? Where are we right now? <laughs> Going. <laughs> I had so much fun with that. And I also think that that is a different kind of faithful adaptation. Obviously they kept plot points like yeah. very accurate. Um, but it's also just like camp. 
it's and I so funny. Like, it's so funny. Yeah, and I feel like some of that's, that's missing from the show. Like they could have gone lower budget and just made it goofy because yeah. that's how it reads sometimes. Like if they wanted to keep Argus, just like put a bunch of googly eyes on a yeah. person, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> but they'd have to commit to that across all of the show, and I don't think that that is Richard's vision. No, Richard wants he wants it all. That's- if you're a Percy Jackson fan and you haven't seen the musical, go watch it or listen to it because. I'm it's, sure there's a slime tutorial for you to watch. A what? Slime, a bootleg, a slime tutorial. Oh, yeah. Is that what they call it? Um, on YouTube, because you can't call it like a full recording. So if you look I've up- never like, heard that, like- a Slime tutorial. Funny. But I like the show. And the finale is tomorrow, guys. We're filming this on- Actually, it's tonight. It's tonight. Yeah. It's tonight. We we're filming this on January 30th. So these are all our opinions before the finale. Maybe we'll talk about it after- but we're liking it so far and um I got blue donuts to celebrate the finale so I'll be eating that (laughs) that's that's the show so far I feel like bad for like not watching it every single week and like being caught up with all the memes and stuff but it's like yeah I know everything now there's one more episode yeah that's so sad why are there only eight uh, probably budget, but also, but it's Disney. Come on, give if us they more. had more, I'm not sure like what they'd fill it with. You know, I just maybe like ten. You know, maybe like one more episode, so it wasn't so. But I don't think the next like I don't think enough happens in the light. Is... No. Oh my god, I'm only, I'm only coming up with Son of Neptune. That's not right. Oh, see so monsters. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't think enough happens in that one for 10. Like, that could be a six episode season. They'd probably be fine. True. That I love how that one's like everyone's like least favorite. That one sucks. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, compared to the rest, yeah. it's definitely weaker. Yeah. Titan's Curse Girl forever. I don't know. Battle of the Labyrinth was really good. Battle of the Labyrinth was fire. You know, I can't wait to read The Last Olympian. It's been fucking forever since I read that one. That one's so good, too. <laughs> like, yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. I'm excited. There's supposed to be a post credit scene for this episode. What do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be Luke poisoning Thalia's tree. Set up season two. Spoilers for uh, Sea of season Monsters. I actually haven't, I didn't predict anything because I'm I not prepared. I need to reread Sea of Monsters, but maybe I'll do that, like, when we're uh, renewed which who knows when that is let us know rick hello <laughs> it's not good numbers i think it's disney i don't think it's rickard rickard <laughs> i think maybe yeah like if it was on like i was gonna say if it was on netflix but then netflix cancels everything good literally or like hulu or they take like a million years. Well, Hulu's Disney too. Um, I guess HBO would be, but they sure. just, but when they rebranded to Max, they canceled a bunch of shit too. And also, oh. I feel like Max, like when I think of Max, it's always like those intense shows. I think of penises. Yeah, I think of Full Six Men. Yeah, <laughs> I think of The Last of Us. Euphoria. Game of Thrones. Yeah, so maybe not. Maybe not the platform, but yeah. they have like cartoons and kid shows on there. They have like Teen Titans on there. Disney was the right place to distribute it because it's for kids and also yeah. Disney owns the rights because they bought Fox Entertainment, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I don't know. Now I'm wondering if we needed it to be a series or if a TV show would have been or a movie would have been yeah. a better format. I don't know. I know. It's much to think about. I love a week-to-week release, though. You know I love a week-to-week. Yeah, I'm, like, always looking forward to something, which is nice. I think it also leaves a lot of breathing room for, like, the piece of media. You don't release everything at all all at once, so people have to, like, take it as it comes. So there's time for people to theorize or, like, talk about it. Like, imagine if they dropped it all right now and people were like, who's the traitor? And then everyone just knew right away. But now there's time for people to be like, I think it's Sally Jackson. And for us to be like, that's the craziest thing anyone's ever said it's also like all the new fans are like reading the book at the same time and they're like also i've seen so many like 
OMG, is Nico the son of Hades? Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's like, we're all learning things together. Lots to think about. Mm -hmm. So how have you been lately? I've been good. I've been so busy. World traveler. I was in London and then Switzerland and then Miami. And then I came back home. How were those trips? Uh, they were good. London and Miami were for work. So it was like, meh. Yeah. Um, but I went to visit a couple of my Percy Jackson friends in Switzerland. So that was really sweet. Ne Shout out Nico and Will. Yeah, they're the best. They were the most gracious hosts. They like showed Aww. me all around Zurich and then took me to a museum. It was, we just had a great time. Love. I want to go to Switzerland. It was literally so gorgeous. I can imagine. I went to Lisbon and Madrid over the holidays and I got sick in Lisbon. <laughs> what? What food poisoning and as a girl who's scared of throwing up it wasn't fun shout out to my emetophobes out there did you yeah. bring um, your boyfriend with you mm -hmm. he was there yeah that was fun and then madrid she's okay you know she's a city air quality horrendous really horrendous and everyone smokes and it's i can't breathe i don't even got asthma and they like smoke like in this like they don't care they'll smoke walking down the, and blow it yeah. right in your face yeah it's the same in london and i was like can we yeah. chill i can't imagine what paris is like i haven't been since i was a kid but like it was crazy yeah they're cray cray yeah i don't know what's going on this year but happy 2024 happy new year everybody it's been january for like five years it felt like <laughs> you went to like the empire state, state building right Mm -hmm. yeah they did their Percy was here thing um and we got tickets to go up because we knew that there was a photo up there but we didn't see that there was one down and if we would have gone to the one down first we would have gotten a shirt but we were so silly and we didn't um but I like there was no lines any except for to get a shirt um but everywhere else there was no lines um it was like walk straight up to the Empire Stay, like to the top and we were going to the place where you scan your pass so that you can get to the elevators and the guy goes I've just been informed that there is no view there is a cloud on top of the building there is no view and then he looks at me and Sebastian sees our shirts and he goes if you heard for Percy Jackson you can just go on up I said <laughs> <laughs> like we know you guys don't care <laughs> yeah so then we screwed um the guy who's running the elevator asked us a riddle and it what he said um what's always here but never here and I think what he meant was what's always here, but never comes. Okay. Do you know the answer? Uh, to Tomorrow or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. It was tomorrow. <laughs> but the way he phrased it, we were also expecting a Percy Jackson question because he yeah. was asking us about our shirts. And we were like, he was like, can you answer the riddle? I said, I can answer any question you have about this fucking children's book and show. Yeah. Um, and then he asked me that. And I was like, My girl, that ain't. <laughs> I was like, hello? <laughs> tomorrow elevators here and I said oh okay bye okay, you. <laughs> cute well check us out on Instagram we have our Percy Jackson stuff on there mm -hmm. and your shirt's from Tessa right yes it it's is so cute I really love that design it's so cute but she's coming out with a new one I don't know where she's at in that design process but she's been posting the proofs that she got mm -hmm. um it's a little more like graphic and a little more like bright orange so could be fun I have so many Camp Hathlon shirts though. Like, do I need more? <laughs> but like, yeah, but like, no. But like, I do. <laughs> like, I don't know. Cause I got a free, so I got the one from Hot Topic, which was like the TV show accurate one. And mm -hmm. then we got free ones at the the screening. So uh -huh. I have like both TV show ones, but then I have all mine from camp. I have a camp hoodie. I have a lot of things. So. Does a girl need more clothes? Let me know. Does a girl need more bright orange shirts? That's what's nice about this. Though, it's cream instead of yeah, orange. like that's more like subtle. Because mm -hmm. like, I mean, I like do have like white ones and like blue ones and stuff, but I don't know. Thinking, thinking. thinking I got some gift cards over the holidays, and I'm like, what should I buy? I don't know. You should buy a family field trip so that we can all go. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, with my Am with my Amazon gift card. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. And the finale is in seven hours. 
correct? Something like that it's at 9 p.m. Eastern. Yes. Um, this will definitely go up after the finale came out. So leave us your thoughts in the Plus comments. I'm blasting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> being absolutely crazy. That's between you and God, I say to myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, the finale is coming out tonight. There's also a documentary on the, the making of Percy Jackson, I believe, is just the cute little documentary. So we will have our thoughts on that and we will unpack. After, mm-hmm. but uh lay of us your thoughts on the show so far and what you think what do you think we're getting a season two has season two already been green light you guys are in the future let past us know thank you and goodbye bye <laughs>